Greetings folks. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to program up a launch mode for a, a discus launch glider uh, in response to a viewer request from Skinny Guy FPV. Thanks for the question Skinny Guy FPV. So he wanted to know how to do it with a TX16S and uh, it's a good thing to note that all OpenTX radios are pretty much the same. It's not unique to the uh, 16S at all. You could use the little uh, Radio Master uh, TX12 or whatever. Anyway, Skinny Guy has a rudder and elevator only discus launch glider and uh, let's just show what launch mode would do. What we're essentially looking for is a little bit of up elevator and right rudder when you flick the momentary switch. And you just use that during the rotation of the launch uh, and until the discus launch glider is heading skyward and nice and straight. So a little bit of up elevator to rotate from horizontal to uh, pointing to the sky, a little bit of uh, right rudder to stop it from sort of skewing out to the left. Pretty easy to do, so let's get in close and have a look. I'm not a DLG expert at all, so if there are any DLG regular flyers out there uh, who want to chip in in the comments and sort of give us some better advice, I'd be uh, most appreciative of that. But this is just the basic, simple uh, programming for a DLG, and I'm not talking about ailerons at all. Uh, that's a different matter altogether. I'll do that in another video. Okay, we've got a basic model here. I haven't put any programming in at all yet. Uh, and I have my elevator on channel 3 and rudder on channel 4. Just coincidentally, you will probably have it on channel 1 and channel 2 if it's only a two-channel DLG. Hit the model page across. To, I haven't got any inputs put in. You can use inputs if you want to, but uh, you don't need to. Uh, so, channel 3, we will insert uh, elevator. So, once you get that highlighted, once you get the source highlighted, you can just wiggle the input that you want to use, or you can just go through and choose from the list. So, elevator on channel 3, uh, I'm just going to leave it at 100% for the moment. You might do something different if you need to. And rudder on channel 4, and it's automatically putting rudder in there. Again, just 100% and nothing else. So now what we want to do is add a little bit of offset to both of these channels just using the momentary switch there. Now, I launch discus launch gliders with my right hands. With my other radios I have actually physically swapped the momentary switch over to that side. Um, or you can use that switch as long as you remember to switch it off when you've uh, completed the launch. So anyway, that is the, what is it, the SH switch. When the SH switch is forward, we want a little bit of offset to the elevator and rudder. So what I'm going to do is copy this line here by highlighting it. Scroll down to copy another uh, copy of that line. And we'll edit that line now. So put the weight down to zero because we don't need the, the stick doing anything. We just need a little bit of added offset. The way I've got my servos in this discus launch glider, I actually found that I needed negative offset. Uh, and you may only want 10%. Uh, I'm doing 30% just for the demonstration. And now we select the switch to activate it. Get that flicking. Get that highlighted and flashing. Hold the momentary switch and then hit the enter again. So now we can see... When SH is pulled forward, we get a little bit of offset. So now we do the same thing for the rudder. Copy that line down and edit that copied line. Weight down to zero because we don't want the rudder stick actually doing anything in this line. Offset. Uh, now I did need a plus for this one. Plus 30. And go down to switch, pull, click, let go. Let's have a look. See, they're both operating correctly now. Now you can, of course, change this uh, offset number here to whatever you need. Uh, you only need a few degrees of right rudder, a few degrees of up elevator. So uh, you would fiddle with that number to get the amount of uh, offset that you need. There we go, you can see them showing up and we still have full 
elevator and full rudder. And there's lots of fun programming you can do to get uh, the brakes or flapperon brakes on, on ailerons if you have an aileron version of a, a DLG. But this is just a launch mode for elevator and rudder version. Thanks for watching.